Praise the Lord. And uh, today, uh, we, we are going to look once again at uh, uh, on the book of Exodus uh, in the telescope of healing. Amen ba yun, no? At babasahin ko po sa inyo, in Exodus chapter 32, verse 1 to 6, it says here, Now when the people saw that Moses delayed coming down from the mountain, the people gathered together to Aaron and said to him, Come, make us gods that shall go before us. For as for this Moses, the man who brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Uh, Moses delayed. Sabi ko nga, minsan iniisip ko eh. Palagay ko, ito na naman ang isang tao sa Bible na palagay ko Pilipino. No? <laughs> Na-delay po siya. But, but did really Moses, did he really delay? Na-delay nga ba talaga siya? There was no time set when Moses would be coming down. There was no time set. Walang tinakdang panahon, ano oras siya bababa. But the people in their mind, they thought that Moses delayed. Or should I say, Moses didn't delay. People were just impatient. Nauubos lang po ang ating pasensya. No? Minsan po, ganun po tayo sa ating, pag tayo po ay may karamdaman, minsan dumadating na po ang impatience sa atin. No? Nagiging impatient po tayo at uh, kung ano-ano po ang naiisip natin. No? Today, we are going to talk about a little bit about the effects of being impatient. So, pag tayo pala eh, impatient, no? impatient sometimes cloud our minds to make the right thinking. Tama ba ho yun? No? Nawalan ka ng pasensya, yung, yung pag-iisip, mali ang procedure ng ating pag-iisip. No? So, nangyari po sa kanila yun. No? So, Aaron said to them, Break off the golden earrings which are in the ears of your wives, your sons, and your daughters, and bring them to me. Ah, impatient na ako, no? Nagkaroon ka ng wrong processing ng pag-iisip. At uh, ano pong ginawa nila? Sige, kunin na natin yung ating mga hikaw. Pag tayo po ay eh, right, wrong thinking, impatience pushes us to make impulsive decision. Ano ba ho yung impulsive? Yung pabigla-bigla ba? No? Mga, mga kababayihan, minsan pag tayo po eh nasa SM Mall, pabigla-bigla tayo. <laughs> no po, kung, kung anong makita, nabibili po natin. Minsan, sa ating, sa ating kalalagayan, no, sa mall, ganun tayo. Minsan, sa ating karamdaman, nagiging pabigla-bigla po tayo. Kung anong naisip, yun na po ang gagawin. At yun po ang ginawa ni Aaron. No po. Kunin natin ang mga hikaw ng iyong mga anak at gumawa po tayo ng earrings. No po. At sabi po nila, so all the people broke off the golden earrings which were in their ears and brought them to Aaron. And he received the gold from their hand and he fashioned it with an engraving tool and made a molded calf. Then they said, This is your God, O Israel, that brought you out, out of the land of Egypt. And this is how it will look like, their golden calf. Ito ang nagpalaya sa iyo mula sa pagkakaalipin. Ito ang ating sasambahin. Ito ang ating judyosin. Bakit? Kasi may, meron akong inilabas dito. Namuhunan ako rito. So ito na ngayon ang aking sasambahin. No? Sometimes our impulsive decision, im, impatience will cost you something that will not count. Ginastusan mo, no? impatient tayo, ginastusan mo, yung iginastus mo, eh, wala naman din palang pupuntahan yan. It costs you something, but it doesn't count. It's worthless. It's useless. Let me move on. So when Aaron saw, saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made a proclamation and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. Then they rose early on the next day, offered burnt offering and brought peace offering. And the people sat down to eat and drink and they rose up to play. To play. Let me just bring to your mind once again this thing. Ito po ang nagagawa ng impatience po sa atin. Paano po natin ito i-apply sa ating buhay? How will I reflect this in our life? Sometimes in our sickness, sa atin pong karamdaman, of course, we want 
instant healing. Amen ba yun? No? We want instant, instant healing. But there will be times it is not instant. In times, God will test our patience. Will, will we really cling to God? Will we, will we really hold on to God? Tayo po ba ay talagang kakapit sa Panginoong Diyos? Will we really persevere in prayer? Will we really exercise our faith and said, Lord, ikaw lang at wala nang iba? Talaga ba tayo magiging pasensyoso? Or pag, pag nagiging impatient na po tayo, instead of God only in our life, we look for something else. We look for an alternative. We look for a detour. Nagahanap po tayo ng detour. No po? At sa kakaditor po natin, lalo po tayong napapasama. No? Should we, or should I say, are we really clinging on to God? Panginoon, I will exercise patience because if not, I would be doing something that will not count. Or it might even prolong my sickness. Minsan po sa aking anak na po, sa aking anak na panganay, ito po ang lagi kong sinasabi sa kanya. No? Anak, you have to pay now, pay now, and play later. Sa iyong pag-aaral, you have to pay now, pay attention to your studies, later on, you will play. No? Because if you do not pay now, if you play now, you will pay later. Lagi ko po sinasabi sa aking mga anak yun, no? sa kanilang pag-aaral. Tsagain mo ngayon, balang araw, you will harvest the fruits of your labor. But if you will play now, later on, you will pay. Same goes with our situation right now, kung ano man po ang kalalagayan po natin ngayon. I pray, I pray that we will pray now. Amen ba <laughs> We will pray now and later on, we will play. Amen ba yun? Na po. Maglalaro po tayo later on. We will pray now. Hallelujah. And what do I mean? Let me just put in one word. Na po. It pays to wait upon the Lord. Sa Panginoong Diyos ako maghihintay. Sa Panginoong Diyos, ako bubunuin ko to sa presensya ng Panginoong Diyos. Bubunuin ko to sapagkat naniniwala ako kung bubunuin ko to sa presensya ng Panginoong Diyos, sa aking paghihintay, may katugunan ng Panginoong Diyos sa aking buhay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So ngayon po, we will pray now. Amen. And when we pray now, we will exercise our faith when we pray now, we want God to see our sincerity in our prayer and we allow God to move mightily in our midst to answer our prayer. 